much for joining me again. Blackpool 1, Ipswich Town 4. I'm going to repeat that. Ipswich Town have scored four goals today. Uh, my boy Guion scoring two. Your thoughts on today's win and your man of the match? Your boy, your boy Guion, man of the match. Just simple as. What a performance from him. He's, he's two goals, excellent finishes. Um, the second goal, I was nearly on the floor. I was just... I almost fell on the floor with that because of the ball from Chambers and yeah. then the touch. And um, we were just saying, normally in the past, he'd forget what to do next, sort of. He'd, oh, God, what a touch it was. What do, I, what do I do next? But then the finish as well. Was, yeah, I mean, it, was, it was four quality goals today. Four quality goals. And um, first half, didn't, I couldn't really believe what was happening. To be 3 up at half time away from home. I don't know when the last time that's happened. Um, but ch- the Chambers strike was a brilliant build-up from Dazelle straight into Hawkins. Runners off him onto Edwards, beat his man. Beat his man so many times that game, didn't he? He had him on toast. And, um, yeah, back post, Chambers, brilliant strike. For here we go. Second one, the, the first-time ball from Bishop out to Edwards. Brilliant, and dispatched it again. Third one, Teddy Bishop was having a brilliant first half. I, I had my criticisms of Teddy during the week, but God, he answered them today. I mean, the... Th- th- those quick feet to that third goal and the finish, his general play, he was pushed up onto the whole midfielder, doing everything I wanted him to do, and just brilliant the whole of that 60 minutes that he was on, really. Um, and obviously the fourth goal was was a top, well, my favourite goal, I'd say, out of the four. Um, yeah, I mean, we, we controlled it. I felt so comfortable. We were so well controlled throughout throughout the shape. Um we were, we were just brilliant today, and um, I, I can't really say anything more than that. I'm, I'm trying to find things to say, but 4-1 top of the league. Leaked and lost to Bristol Rovers today at home, so <laughs> don't really know how that happened. But, yeah, top of the lead, 4-1. I'm, I'm off because I just I just can't go with that fourth goal. Well, so. Thomas, Mr. Game Day. Wow. 4-1 win against Blackpool. Top of the league. My boy, Guion, scoring two goals. What's your overall thoughts and your man of match for today's win? Well, first things first, I'll get the moans over for first because there's not many, to be honest. Um, who's, I think, a uh, bit weak, um, giving the ball away too many times. Uh, apart from that, you can't really moan at him too much. I mean, it's his first league game of the season. We haven't seen him or, you know, for any league games at all this season. So I'm not going to moan at him too much. It was just, he was thrown in the deep end, especially with Nolan being um, like taking precautionary efforts to be sub, uh, not, not, not start. So, you know, I'm, I'm going to let that one slide. Um, and secondly, I think the first 10, 15 minutes, we were a little bit suspect. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, this cross from Edwards comes in and then Chambers is just whacking it from anywhere. It's just like a rocket like that and just yeah. back of the net. And we didn't look back from then. Um, for me, Edwards proved today what what he should have been, where he should have been playing since we signed him on the left-hand yeah. side. He's that's where he plays his best. And we've never played him there for 90 minutes before. Today... He showed exactly why he should be there. And for me, if he doesn't start the next week, if he never, if he gets moved elsewhere, then I don't understand why, because he has proven today why he should be on that left-hand side. That's where he belongs. Um, it, it, it is his position. He's a left winger or, you know, he can cut inside. Two goals today for him. He's, top, he's our top scorer now. No, he didn't score, so he's, you know, yeah. top scorer for us. Yeah, Edwards, Edwards needs to start on that left-hand side for me. Um, good game for him. Um, Two great goals, and also the third, the bishop as well. I said just before, just before, <laughs> randomly, just before he scored, I was like, "Yeah, bishop's had a good game today, this first half." And then all of a sudden, he's shooting with his left foot. And to be fair, it was weak. The goalkeeper should have done better, but it's a goal. Who cares? <laughs> so yeah, for me, um, I'm happy. Four-one uh, win. You can't moan at that. We haven't seen a four-one win since Tramer, I believe, last year. Yeah. So um, three points, top of the league. You know, on to. And to um, Accrington next week at home. Well, Matt, a.k.a. Vu from the U2, thank you for joining me as ever, my friend. Uh, four goals for town today. Four very good goals. Top of the league. We can't complain, can we? So your thoughts and your man of match for today. Well, blimey. Did that really happen? 4-1 Ipswich it's Town me. away in uh, sunny Blackpool. Uh, I went there once. It's not the best place, but bless them. They survive. Um, that was fantastic. I mean, no Ipswich Town performance is really going to be that comfortable, but amazing. Matter of the match, your boy, 
Quion Edwards, a.k.a. Brian Edwards. I don't yeah. know why I call him that. Um, Guion isn't even the Welsh version of Brian, but he is Brian Edwards. And I have to apologise. My cat, Colin, he's run off. He knocked the laptop. My apologies. But, yeah, I mean, it was great. I mean, do you know anybody that ever gave Miles Kenlock abuse, like doubted his ability or anything else like that? Because he was solid, just like my man, Thomas Holy and how good was it to see Caden Jackson and also Keenan Bedditz on the pitch? Yeah. It was, I mean, it wasn't perfect. I think, I think we'll always have our flaws, but we're used to that. We expect that as it's Switch Town fans. But um, three points, four goals. It's Oktoberfest. Frost. Well, John, thank you for joining me as ever. I think you've got to pinch me because I still can't believe we have won 4 1 today. Um, so, what's your thoughts on today's win? Well, first of all, I, I'm a little bit gutted that we didn't concede that last uh, late penalty because I, when I spoke to you on Thursday for the, the pod, I predicted a 4 2. And, yeah. uh, you know, I never want to see Town concede extra goals, but there was a little bit of me thinking, oh, that would be nice. But yeah. I've Predicted 4-1 for at least the last two games, if not three. So a, a tiny bit of me is a bit gutted that we didn't concede one. But, you know, you've got to be happy. You know, we're 13 points from uh, 15 and we are um, winning away from home. We're scoring goals. The team played pretty well. I, I must have say it when I saw the team sheet, I was looking at Judge and I presumed he was going to be on the left. And thankfully he wasn't. Um, because I didn't want Kenlock and Judge to be on the same side because I think that would have been a, a disaster. But, you know, Edwards was uh, outstanding today, wasn't he? Your boy, yeah, your boy. The top goal scorer. <laughs> um, I've got to say, like last week, Enciala and Wilson were excellent again. Um, Enciala put a few really good blocks in. He's a colossus. I'm so pleased for him on a personal journey. You think how far he's come from being dropped and then shipped out to Bolton. Um I thought the first um, half of the game was pretty, um, first 10 minutes were pretty um, even. They could have had a couple of early bookings because I thought there was a couple of hefty challenges went in. Um, but overall, I mean, when you see Chambers hit a straight like that, you know it's going to be your day because he hit yeah. it so sweet. It was like, pick that out. So, yeah, overall, I'm a happy tractor boy today. It's nice speaking to you inside because our black pearls we talked about before, we got blown away and so last time so um yeah um happy days onwards and upwards not perfect but we've got to be pleased well phil thank you very much for joining me once again for game day four one i'm gonna say that again four one to town against blackpool your overall thoughts and your man of match for today yeah big smiles on everybody's faces after that absolutely um it's a bit of a cliche and a bit of a, a well-used saying in football but goals change games and we scored four very good goals um they're all really well worked goals in their own right. Um, going through from Luke Chambers as one at the start, through to Edwards as one for fourth to win them to to seal the match and uh, really sort of put Blackpool away. They're all very work, well worked goals and very well finished. I think the goalkeeper might be a bit disappointed with that second one. He seemed to get beaten at his near post. And me and my mate took us a split second to realise it had actually gone in. But uh, yeah, it's a great thumping uh, finish from Chambers for the first one. It's very easy to blaze those into row Z. Um, Edwards, like I said, perhaps got a little bit lucky with the keeper, not really. Uh, I, mean, I don't know if he's expecting a shot across him or a cross or what, but uh, yeah, it was, he, he finished it. Bishop, great run and finish for the third one, and then the fourth one equally. Edwards, another very good run and finish for the fourth one. Um, the only slight gloss, I suppose, uh, gloss taken off it was uh, the lack of a clean sheet, but you can't keep a clean sheet every match, I suppose. In terms of man of the match, uh, Edwards, I suppose, is the easy and obvious choice, but I'd also make a shout for Bishop as well. Carried the ball exceptionally well, uh, scored a very good goal uh, before his almost customary substitution. Uh, I think the guys at the back defended well to give us a, a base to build on. Uh, Toto was there again with some more very uh, timely blocks and interception. So I think Chambers was back in form. I think um, Bishop, after a couple of quiet weeks, like I say, he, he found his form again. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of uh, hard running up front from Hawkins as well to try and, try and create the space. Try and try and create the space. So, yeah, good all round. 